Okay, last last question for you, dude, because you guys have um, keyed in on a really interesting data point, and it's one that Seth has talked about, but um, I don't know that, you know, I think, look, there's a lot of data you can look at, right? And one of the, the things I want to start doing with the airwaves is, is helping agencies understand what data points matter and why. Um, but you know, this data point in particular, I don't think has been a priority for other agencies, but for you guys, I mean, within just a few weeks, you said, I, I need to figure this out. This is something that's really important to me. And, and that was the cost per transaction. Um, what, why does this data point matter? Uh, and if you're willing to share a little bit more about I, I don't know if you want to say the cost per transaction, totally understand if that's, um, you know, sensitive information, then no worries. But I'm just curious at least why it matters and why you're looking at it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. You know, it, it matters because you have to understand where your, your profitable business sits. So let's just use a generic number of, let's say your, your cost per transaction is $20. Okay. And how do you figure that cost? You know, you simply take your, your service team, for instance, let's talk about cases or cost per transaction when it comes to servicing a client, you take your service team, you add up all their salaries, you add up everything related expense wise to having those people employed, internet, uh, computers, uh, software, right? Everything that they need to operate. <clears throat> and then you take that by the amount of days they work and then you take the amount of cases that are produced because in Neon you can see how many cases they've done in a day or a month or a year and then you divide that back out and you could kind of start getting a feel for what it costs to service a, a, a customer uh, and the number of calls which our phone system plugs into Neon so we know exactly how many calls each individual is taking and how long they've been on the phone for and all kinds of fun stuff so so when we analyze our business and we say, okay, let's say it's $20 per service um, opportunity. And let's say we have a monoline customer that brings you $500 in premium, mm -hmm. right? And let's say on that, on that premium, you're making 10% commission because it's a monoline one-off. So that's $50, right? That you're making on that customer. Mm -hmm. So it's real simple. If you, your cost, per case is $20 or per service call is $20. So as soon as that call rings and you pick it up, that's costing you $20 as an organization. Well, how many of those calls can you take from that customer before you start losing money, right? So if you understand what that is, then you can start making really smart business decisions on where you want to spend your time and who you want to market to, right? And if you build it from that perspective, um, you you should be pretty profitable as an organization just understanding what that cross structure looks like. And these are the kind of conversations that are happening inside Wilbur Price right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. And and we wouldn't have gotten there without you guys. And that's that's what the exciting thing is, is when, when I started seeing the amount of cases that we were handling, not only we could see the amount of cases we're handling by phone, by email, uh, walk-ins, mm -hmm. you know, so not only, and then, you know, we can say, okay, wow, there's, you know, 2000 cases we handled this month, you know, 90% of them are by phone. Mm -hmm. Now let's, let's look at it from this perspective. Um, do we need a licensed agent to handle a majority of what, is is holding up in our system because we don't you know there's mm -hmm. billing questions is by far our number one you know call mm -hmm. and so why would we want to tie up a licensed agent to handle billing questions mm -hmm. you know and when you start analyzing this and you start looking at everything it, it starts it makes the picture very clean and clear mm -hmm. and it will at the end of the day allow you to maximize the profit of the organization and it's because of neon Dude. plain and simple well i uh <laughs> i don't really think we can take that much credit i'll say this um 
you know, you can give somebody's tools, but you got to build the chair, right? Or the table or whatever it is. And I, I, I have nothing but respect for the fact that you guys came into this uh, ecosystem, I guess, for lack of a better term. And just, I mean, you saw the vision for it and, and you're building. Um, and that's what makes me really excited is to see people, um, you know, agencies start to say, we're not just a distribution center. We're not just a sales center. We don't just sell policies. We're a business. We give people an experience and we are incredibly valuable in this industry and our data is worth something. So 